Benghazi investigation report released, trail points straight to Hillary. New details are emerging about Clinton's misdeeds every week, and it is becoming increasingly hard to see how the former presidential nominee will remain a credible player in the political scene. A new report has come out from the Select Committee on the events surrounding the 2012 terrorist attack in Benghazi, and it ended up confirming what most suspected all along. The Obama administration, which of course includes Hillary Clinton, completely failed to keep American diplomats properly protected and safe during that infamous attack. The new report features 81 new witnesses and 75,000 new pages of documents, and served to show just how profoundly incompetent the previous administration, as well as former Secretary of State, Hillary Clinton, were in response to the Benghazi attacks. Coming in at just over 800 pages long, the report goes into extensive detail, and leaves no stone unturned as to what transpired during the attack. Many key revelations show just how lacking the previous administration's response was to this emergency. Despite President Obama and Secretary of Defense Leon Panetta's clear orders to deploy military assets, nothing was sent to Benghazi, and nothing was en route to Libya at the time the last two Americans were killed almost eight hours after the attacks began, the report said. It's a shocking level of inefficiency, and there was a fleet anti-terrorism security team, FAST, based out of Rota, Spain, sitting on a plane for over three hours, waiting to respond. Even worse, none of the military assets in the area met their required deployment times. We expect our government to make every effort to save the lives of Americans who serve in harm's way. That did not happen in Benghazi, said Rep. Mike Pompeo, RKS, in response to this report. Politics were put ahead of the lives of Americans. And while the administration had made excuses and blamed the challenges posed by time and distance, the truth is that they did not try. Another elected official, Rep. Martha Roby, RL, was equally shocked over the findings, our committee's insistence on additional information about the military's response to the Benghazi attacks was met with strong opposition from the Defense Department, and now we know why. Instead of attempting to hide deficiencies in our posture and performance, it's my hope our report will help ensure we fix what went wrong so that a tragedy like this never happens again. Of course, the infamous excuse Clinton used was that this attack was caused by a YouTube video, when in fact, she told her daughter as well as the Egyptian Prime Minister that it was a planned terrorist attack that had nothing to do with the film. Obama administration officials including the Secretary of State, learned almost in real time that the attack in Benghazi was a terrorist attack, said Rep. Jim Jordan, R.O. He continues, rather than tell the American people the truth, the administration told one story privately and a different story publicly. With even more damning information about Clinton surfacing almost regularly, it's hard to see who she will blame next for this failure, except herself.